June of 2017, Cars 3 Driven to Win was released on Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS3, PS4, the Wii U, and the Nintendo Switch. When they announced this game, I had never felt so excited for something in my life. 11 year old me really, really wanted this game. So one day my dad comes home with a copy in hand and I sat down and got ready to play because this was gonna be awesome. This was literally just a copy and paste of Cars 2, the video game. And you wanna know what the worst part about that is? I'm not joking. This game literally uses recycled animations from Cars 2 and pasted them into Cars 3. And apparently even Mater's Cars 3 model was pasted from Cars 2. On top of that, even a chunk of the game's tracks are from Cars 2. And we got plenty of excitement down here as the fine folks. Now, you're going to be glad you joined us because... And folks, we're coming to you live from the coast of Italy for what shirts decided tonight's highly anticipated... Folks, we have got ourselves a great day here at Radiator Springs. When the game came out, it was a high price of $50. Today, I managed to get the game on sale for $4. So that really says a lot about the game's quality, but I'm not one to judge. So after years and years of not playing the game, I decided to buy it and see how well this game aged. So now that I'm a grown ass man with a mustache, let's see if this game is still any good. So in total, this game has 22 trophies. A two out of 10 difficulty can be beaten in one playthrough and can be completed within 15 hours. And despite not even being long, this was like the most boring platinum trophy I have ever gotten. And that says a lot because I'm the same guy who platinum my friend Peppa Pig. And I got more excitement out of that than this. So enough with the yip yap. Let's go ahead and get into platinum in Cars 3 Driven to Win. So that's what we're doing. But today uh, I'm streaming Cars 3 Driven to Win. Now, um... I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a big fan of this game. I don't I don't really like it. I thought it was expensive too expensive for what it was. But um hey, uh, I caught it on sale, so uh we're gonna platinum it. Um uh, and you know, see how it is. Blah blah blah. I do not remember these graphics being so ugly. I've dreamed about this moment for as long as I can remember. That okay, voice Mr. acting is garbage, I'm not gonna do. lie. So first impressions, I already hate the voice acting. None of the characters sound at all what they were in the movie. And Larry the Cable Guy doesn't even play Mater in this game, which says a lot because he literally plays Mater in everything. Sorry, chick. <laughs> Just trying to get my costume situated. So then, how's the gameplay? Well, it's just like Cars 2. You can drift, you can boost, you can do tricks. Literally just a Cars 2 reskin. But unlike that game, this one actually has a story. You train on the simulator, you have a checklist of skills that you need to complete in order to do boss fights, and you keep checking them off until you can be able to race Jackson Storm. Which by the way, we have to check off every single one of these skills to get the Hall of Famer trophy. So we finally get into our first race and we get our first trophy for going in the zone four times. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa. Fuck. <laughs> Shut up, shut up. Okay. There we go. I got a trophy for going, oh, four, uh, in the zone for. I then got my next trophy for using 15 boosts. Game, so. <laughs> Let's lock in. Come on. All right. And I got a trophy for using 15 bo boosts. I then got my next trophy for getting three perfect head starts. I got third. And I got stunt showcase. Junior Moon. I gotta redo that. That did not go well. I can't let. And I got another trophy for getting three perfect starts. I then got my next trophy for doing six tricks in a row. Okay. I need to lock the fuck in. Come on. And there we go, I got it. Um, perform six air tricks in a single jump. After that, I chose to do another event with a different character too because you also have to get one trophy for using every character in the game and another for earning a star in every single event, which there's 20 tracks in total and five events. So if you do the math, you have to do 100 events to get every star. 
And then I got my next trophy for doing 70 tricks. Boom, 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 boom. Goaded stuff, goaded stuff. Children attempt this at home. And I got another trophy for completing 70 uh, tricks in the single stunt showcase. After that, I got another trophy for going in the zone 30 times. I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know that right now. And I got another trophy for going in the zone 30 times. Damn. So yeah, I was kind of surprised by how quickly I was speed running through this game, but it was only going to get harder from here. I then got my next trophy for checking off 50 skills. Boom. Jesus. And I got another trophy, complete 50 skill checks, Jesus! I then got another trophy for making it to wave 6 of takedown. Damn it! You know, we already got 3 stars, I'm just overdoing it. And I got another trophy for completing 6 waves in a single takedown. After that, I went on to do my first boss battle with Miss Fritter. Not how. Well, folks, we're rapidly approaching Lightning McQueen's historic race with Jackson Storm. And you can bet that old Kachow's shaking in his light ears, considering that... Not so fast! He's not so fast. Never has been. Oh, yeah! Here I come! My trophy! Who are you? And what are you doing on my set? It's Miss Fritter. Fritter's the name, and me and the crazy apes have some unfinished business with old Lightning McQueen. Cause I may be a huge fan. Oh, I'd say. But I want a <laughs> shot at him, so set it up. As much as I would personally love to see that, unfortunately we've got sponsors and station managers hey, who... you listen here. Somebody's mm -hmm. gonna get messed up. And if it ain't my boy Lightning Bolt, it's gonna be you. Take your pick. Chick. So we end up doing her boss battle, and I also ended up getting a trophy for doing 150 turbo boosts. Come on. We got this. And I got another trophy for using 150 turbo boosts. I then unlocked another boss fight with Mater the Greater, which was simple enough and I ended up unlocking him. Come on, it's the last jump. Boom. Greater than Mater. And I got Midnight Run. And we got a Chick Hicks takedown. I then ended up doing another boss battle with Mr. Kachika himself. And ended up unlocking him. Yes! Chick Hicks is now available. Yay. And I got Italy. Now I was ready to take a break and explore the world of the Thomasville Playground. Which was a very small world in my opinion. In this world too, however, you can also collect max hats and if you collect 10 of them, you not only unlock them, but you get a trophy as well. And there we go. Max hats, collect all 10 hats at Thomasville. And we got Max. I then ended up getting another trophy for completing every challenge in the Thomasville playground with at least a bronze medal. Boom. And I got a king of the playground, earn a bronze in every Thomas will play that challenge. Okay. For the rest of the first stream, I didn't really get any more trophies, but I did try to clear some more skill checks while I was at it, and I decided to load up a second controller. Unfortunately, I had nobody to play with, and my parents are very busy people, so I had to literally play by myself with two controllers. All right. Boom. Second stream in, it was time to lock in because we only had 11 more trophies left to get. And I ended up getting my next trophy for doing 15 side bashes in a single takedown. 
Okay, let's lock in. <laughs> I already got three stars, so yeah. There we go, I got it. Cart contact, side bash 15 cards. I kept playing as other characters and unlocking other things, getting skill checks, blah, blah, blah. And then I got my next trophy. Come on. There we go. Reverse racer. Drive backward for a total of 15 minutes. And in that same event, I got another trophy for getting 30 stars. That's that's not a good. It's not a good time for my controller to stop working. That's a rocket shot. <sighs> and I got a trophy. Earned 30 stars. Oh my god. Yeah, so you can see why I kind of hate this game. Some of these trophies are literally dumb. Like, driving backwards for 15 minutes or driving on two wheels for 15 minutes? That is kind of a dumb trophy to get, I'm not gonna lie. But we ended up getting them both anyway, so... What the? And there we go, two wheel champ. Drive on two wheels for a total of 15 minutes. I then went ahead and did the final boss of Racing Jackson Storm. We're here Rainbow. on location for the final showdown between Lightning McQueen and Jackson Storm. Jackson, think you still got what it takes to beat old 95? Still have what it takes. I never lost it, chick. Lightning may have had a lucky win, but it won't happen again. Ooh, hear that, McLoser? And how about a stats update, Miss Certain? Well, I've said it before, Chick, and I'll say it again. Lightning's numbers just don't match up to Storm's. You've heard it, folks. Lightning has a 0% chance of winning. That's not at all what Could I said. Could this truly be his last race? Will Lightning ever be victorious again? At least he's on the course, not prancing around in front of a camera all day. Ow, Damn. Slow blow, Jackson. Run along now, you don't want to be late, but you caught it here first, folks. The final moments before the legendary race between Storm and Lightning. So now we got a race storm in this giant Florida international course, which was really, really long and I hated it, by the way. But we ended up beating it anyways. There, I beat the game. <laughs> well, it would seem that Lightning McQueen isn't quite done with racing yet. Although I could have won that with a way faster time. That race was fixed for ratings. You know I can beat you anytime, Lightning. I can beat anyone, anywhere. Just bring it. <laughs> anyone? Anywhere? To... <laughs> Man, this is good TV. Hmm. I'm Chick Hicks, and this that was... Is so now that we beat the game, we can go ahead and focus back on the trophy hunting. And I got my next trophy for side bassing 100 cars. Come on. And there we go, bashing through, side bash 100 cars. I kept playing, unlocking some more skill checks and whatnot, until I got my final character from the skill list. Here's a quick statistical update. Yes. And there's Smokey. Now we can leave and get this next trophy and then I'm off. And so I got my next trophy for playing as every single character in at least one event. And boom, there we compete in it, compete in one event with at least every character. I then got my next trophy for destroying a thousand cards in takedown. And there we go, I got one thousand, destroy a thousand cars. After that, I kept grinding on the skill list until I got my next trophy for completing everything on the list. And yes, that means I had to sit through the long and excruciating multiplayer challenges by myself, which took ages and ages, but we went through it and got it.
there we go. Hall of Fame or complete all skill checks. Nice. Now with all of that out of the way, I only had two more trophies to get to get the platinum. Finish 100 laps in the best lap time trials challenge and earn a star in every single event. So for the best lap trophy, I just sat here and did the Radiator Springs map over and over for 10 laps each because it was the shortest map in the game and I ended up getting my trophy. Yes! Best of the best, complete 100 laps and best lap challenge. Finally! And the only last thing to do to get the platinum trophy was to earn a star in every single event, which took ages because I hardly did any of the other events. So I had to go back through every single event, complete every single track over and over, which drove me to insanity until I finally, finally did it. See you star earn a star in every event and And with that I officially got the Cars 3 driven to win platinum trophy. So what did we learn? Well this game is garbage and I wasted 17 hours of my life. Like literally, if you want to play another Cars game, literally go play the original Cars movie game or play Race O Rama. All both of those are better than what this was. What made the original game so good is that it was trying to do its own thing. It was a nice simple racing game with an absolutely stellar and gorgeous open world. Whereas Cars 3 feels like a low budget version of Mario Kart that was put together in under a few weeks. Which if you do your research you can honestly kind of understand. I mean this game was also published by Warner Brothers and I expect no less from them. But enough of that. We got the platinum trophy and we're all good. So if you want more, like, subscribe, do whatever. Thank y'all for watching. Stay gaming and I'll see you guys next time. What the f-